What's happening, people? Hope you're all all right. Um, yeah, just want to come on. I've seen a few things when I left Paul's live last night where he carried on speaking about me and basically he's commenting on people's, he's commenting on the people's stuff saying that's what they all do. They leave the channel when they've got their own channel and they're all jealous. Everyone's jealous of Paul's, apparently, right? So this is the last words I'm going to have Paul, right? It's up to you what you want to do, but I won't be making another video, yeah? But I'm just telling you, lads, any, any videos come up trying to come at me. When you know full well you're just an ignorant and cunt and you think you're a celebrity bro like all i ever messaged you from the day i met you was stay away from the drama stay away from this bro do, 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 do. Like, you, you, you've got to admit that yourself lads i've always tried to get involved to help you might have done it too much to get involved to help you and try and like stay away from shit. i told you about people months ago you carried on talking to them you 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 you, you, you made videos basically just and i just felt belittled myself but i carried on a relationship with you because I do like you, I like what you do. Now when you're my friends, yeah, no matter what I think of you, I'll tell you in private, and I've told you in private what I think of what you do sometimes, bro, with donations and this, that I've told you in private. So, as a friend, I wouldn't ever publicly say that. But then lately, the past few months, not, not the past week, mate, where you say you're, you're involved with families, the past few months, the person who put me in touch with you as well, from a channel called It's Your Boy months ago, you, you, you just ghost him as you, you, you're a bad guy and i've realized now like you just used me at the start of your channel bro you were tagging sam darren living in london or begging them to come on your thing no one ever reacted to you or responded someone asked me to get in touch with you and help your channel got in touch with you jumped on your lives after jumped on your lives your lives seemed to start bouncing i'm not saying i carried your channel because you carried it yourself you do well with what you do I'll give you credit for jumping on your lives for however long you do a night and talking to people. But that's all I can really do with you, bro. Is give you credit for wasting your time. And you're not wasting your time. You're going to build a good channel if you keep good content. But your channel is a breeding ground for trolls, yeah? Ever since I've met you, you got trolled because of the Darren stuff with me. You get that. But then I got trolled. Every, your channel's called The Snake Pit, bro. There's voice notes to yourself just saying that they're all rats and all that in the snake pit. Like, I never shared that. You know I never shared that. You know you had that conversation with. So, you know what your channel is. So, people who come on to help your channel grow, they end up getting sold. And, like, you know, it's a laugh. I get that. But with yourself, bro, I don't believe our friendship's being valued the same as I. I valued your friendship that much. I'd get involved when you're arguing with people and trying to help you. I'd, when I'm on videos, I always big it up and like do things. That I, I, so the other day I was on a live with someone, they had an opinion about you, and I shut them down straight away and told them you're my mate. Right? I've seen you do the same thing. I've also seen you let people run on about me because your channel is free speech. You get that. So I'm entitled to an opinion, mate. Um, now I don't class you as a friend. Now I just think you're a using cunt, mate. And you've got 7,000 subscribers, brother. And you talk about, I'm too busy. I've got a YouTube channel. I've got this. I've got. I work 12 hours a day, I walk my dogs, I spend time in the house, I engage with friends, close circle of friends. We were in a WhatsApp group together, I'm not going to name who was in the group with us. But after I'm trying to ring you in private and text you, I, rang you in the, I tried texting you in the group to make the group see that I'm actually trying to get in touch with you so this doesn't have to go on the internet. I feel like you're just a fucking using cunt, mate. Everyone who goes on your channel, you use the life of them. I want you to help me with StreamYard about a week ago. you blanked me ever since. Now, that might be because you think it's competition. I don't class friends as competition. And what you're doing is different to what I'm doing. I'm doing something to try and help offenders and raise awareness to ex-offenders and show ex-offenders that people who come home from prison do actually go to work if they want to put their mind to it. You don't, bro, so we're not competition. So you shouldn't have, like, just aired me out and just, just you know... I remember watching you on know, live saying how much you've spent on FaceTime, helping people set their things up. But I've knew you a lot longer than some of these people, Paul, so I just feel offended by what you've done. Um, it's not about you not phoning me, mate. It's about the lack of respect and, and the friendship I thought we had was not two-way. It definitely went two-way. You, you're too busy to speak to me, you see. So I can message Bugsy Malone on Instagram now and get a message straight back within 10 minutes, bro. He's the, probably the, one of the busiest men in the country. If you're a friend with someone, it shouldn't matter how busy you are, bro. You just pop on and say, look, brother, but, 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 or ring. The, I've had about 10 phone calls off you in total since we've spoke. The rest on text messages and the, 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 like, your proper hard work, mate. And 
you know, I understand you might have things going on with your mental health and that what you said last night after they come off, but it, I just, I don't value that, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't appreciate how you're being with me, yeah? So now, where you, you put a comment under your thing saying they all leave me channel when they create their own, that's what they do. Let me tell you something, and they're jealous, yeah? You've got no kids. You've got nowhere to stay apart from a hostel. You've got no money. You beg for money. You've got no job. What am I to be jealous of, mate? If I was to create a channel to talk about other people and to do what you do, then yeah, it could be look like I'm left your channel to create my own. I had the channel before you ever did, Paul. I had a platform before you ever did. Don't ever say that I'm jealous of you, mate. You've got nothing for me to be jealous about, nothing. Now, me personally, I have hundreds of messages of people. I say, I don't delete me messages. I can go through my Instagram now and find hundreds of them, of stories about you. I would never post them. I'm not like that. That's not what I do. You done a clickbaiting video last week. Why are you blanking me and being hard work to get hold of? You done a video saying living in London, ditchy and cold looking for me. You say, oh, it was just the thing I was messing about with it and all that. But when I'm not getting the correct responses from you as a friend and you're making videos like that, you're a very disrespectful man. You're a clickbaiter. You, when I first met you, mate, and like, I'm not blowing smoke at my own ass because I don't look at myself in that way, but you was looking at me like I was a proper little internet celeb. I'm not, bro. You were gassed to fuck when I was coming on your channel. Liam Ditchy, da, 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 da. Now you've got your little platform and you, you, you forget people, bro. And you should never forget your friends, mate. You should never forget who was there for you. And you shouldn't ever forget people who tried to advise you the situations to stay out of and told you the outcome and you've seen yourself that outcome happens so paul don't ever 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 call me jealous of you bro don't ever say i've left your channel and built a live i've built a live because of the amount of pricks who troll me and people have a perception of me yeah so i've built my own live now to engage with people and show them who i am not just on the snake pit, which I'm showing them who I am, that's what I do, what I'm trying to do, where I'm going in life, where I've been in life, yeah? You're not, you're shit. And you say you never got your, f every time you're on an internet video, bro, you're on your phone while people are talking to you, you pick your phone up and talk. Don't ever, ever, ever try and excuse the way you've been with me, bro. Just admit that you, you, you haven't, you haven't, you haven't kept, you, you, you'll back me on a live, you'll speak highly of me on a live and talk about me on a live. Behind the scenes, mate, you don't do that. So to me, you just you, you just do what you do for the internet and for cloud, bro. So I don't like you. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to keep going on at you, mate. I'm not going to try and like interfere with what you're doing and try and like turn people against you, mate. I'm just going to be honest, bro. So you tell people in your chat on the comments that I'm jealous. This is me telling you. What the fuck have you got for me to be jealous about? Your donations now, yeah? Let's just talk about this, just so you, you you know there's no jealousy with me. I believe no one wants me to come on a stream, yeah, because I'm strongly against donations going to people, yeah? If it's for a charity, it's different, but I'm against anyone receiving donations to fund their lifestyle. That might be because I'm working and it now pisses me off, but you see people on the street, right, sitting on a sleeping bag or a cardboard what's been lied down, asking for money. People walk past them every day, and if you put a pound in there, and they're fucking so happy, yeah? If you buy them garlic mushrooms, like what? I got the homeless guy at the street, said, what do you want? He said, garlic mushrooms, that's what he got, simple as that. And that was a little banter thing what come off your channel. You lot donate to someone like that, who sits there and doesn't give nothing back to nobody. Them homeless people in the street need donations. Not people on YouTube need donations for just talking about everyone. They don't need donations. Get a fucking job, yeah? I remember I spoke to you about why didn't you get a job. I've offered you to try and get your work. Your response is you'd have to pay your own rent. You got your mum's there. Go and stay in your mum's for a month and go to work. Save your monthly dough up and go and pay a first month rent deposit. Done. You're then off benefits and you're grafting. But you're on benefits. You're receiving donations. You're receiving YouTube subscription money. I've never seen you once, like, give anything back to people. Someone pay 500 quid in a taxi to come and see you and pay for your drinks for you. Like, I've never seen you go, right, you said, give me this much, so it's this week I'm going to give half of it away to one of you lucky followers. You do nothing like that for them. 
so that's why I think your donations have slowed down as well, to be fair, mate. Um, you don't give no donations to charity. You don't... If I was you, I'd link one of the lads' charities in there and have the lads getting the money. I wouldn't be receiving it myself to fund my own lifestyle, but... So I would not have nothing to be jealous about with you. I earn money and work. I earn money with my own initiative on Instagram. I don't beg for money, mate. I graft. If COVID hasn't taught you how to hustle, you're never, ever, ever going to be able to hustle, mate. So the more you live on your... I'd rather die on my feet than live on my knees, right? The more you're on your knees in life asking people for help, the more you're never, ever, ever going to achieve anything, bro. Do it yourself, mate. Do it yourself. You've had great opportunities in the past. You've gone up to see James English. You've gone up to do the... You've had massive opportunities and you, you, can, you can really propel your channel in the right way. But you're, you're breeding ground for trolls, mate. It's as simple as that. All these troll pages came about through being on your lives, mate. Now you moan about being trolled. Your channel's called The Snake Pit and everyone's got a freedom of speech on The Snake Pit. So some people might find it offensive that you're letting people talk about them. That's where you probably get trolled and that's why you get trolled. So it's all self-made and self-explanatory of what's happening to you, mate. I don't want to keep going on and on and on and on and on and on. But I've seen a comment after my live. I've seen you talking on my on the, on the live after I left about what you were saying about that's what they do. I don't know why he's done it. You know why I've done it. The people who were in the WhatsApp group with us know why I've done it. I tried to sort this in private and get you to phone me for days on end to sort my feelings towards you out. Your text to me yesterday was come on me live and talk about it. I said, oh, do you really want me to do that? No problem, I'll come on your live. Come on your live. I express my feelings, lad. Like, if I come across hard to some people and come across like it was it was bad, like, it is what it is. It's It's... It's what happens when you think you're a friend with someone and that happens, do you know what I mean? So I've just got back from a meeting in London with Inside Connect. Next week I'm going to be advertising a page and a company where 15 to 18 year olds can go to. You get your apprenticeship for your electrician, stonemasonry, gas engineer, plastering. Now 15 to 18 year olds is the right age to get apprenticeships. Most companies now with ex-offenders, when they come home, offer you an apprenticeship on the job centre to work with companies, but you're going to go and take home £8 a week, £8 an hour. You can't do that. You can't live off that as a man. So with Inside Connect, they're getting direct jobs for people where you just start your employment. You ask for a job, they give you a job. Um, you're picked up from your front door, you're dropped off back to your front door in a minibus going to work. It couldn't be more easier for you. So that's what my plan is. That's what my aim is. That's what I do. I do all kinds behind the scenes to help other people. I've just been on the phone to Hector Live. I'm going to arrange for my boxing gym where I'm training and this boxing gym to come together and create a type of show. Um, sparring even, or just, just just the lads so they can all like, they can get noticed. Dickheads like us on this Instagram and YouTube get more of more numbers than some boxers and then it's sad. So I've just spoke to Hector Live. Me and him are going to arrange something like that. Me and him got in touch with each other because he started trolling me after 3D Fight Club. I knew why it was happening. I didn't really want to go too much into it and bite back because I knew he was trying to create a platform for other fighters and boxers and himself. Let it happen. We spoke on a live and we were good as gold. Um, I just, I'm, I'm gutted, you know. Like I actually proper, there's videos I've done in the past like proper defending him. I have never agreed with donation side of him. I've told him that many times. I've told him on live, I've told him in private, I've told him a few times, don't agree with the donations, but I like them, like, like, I feel like I've just been fooled and had the wool pulled out and my pants pulled down. It feels weird, do you know what I mean? If it was someone who's like a big eye case or someone, like, it would feel different, but like, I proper looked at Paul and talked to him like he was, he was one of my proper close, close friends. I always tried to look out for him and help him. So yeah, I'm gutted, but it is what it is, it happens. But it's definitely not to build a channel, it's definitely not for jealousy. Isn't, bro. Yeah, so it's not for that. And then I've got some old junkie who's been on his live doing videos about me doing this, that, that. Don't forget, mate, you've slagged the ass out of him to me. If Paul wants to see that, he can get in touch with me in private and I'll show him, but I won't be putting it on the internet. I'm a man, grown man. So if Paul wants to see what you've said about him and how much you've slated him in the past, when you've been upset with them, just like I have, he can get in touch with me anytime he wants and I'll show him. Um, you're in everyone's life, this old man. 
every trolling page on YouTube, he's in the comments talking. He's an old man. It's embarrassing. He's doing videos about young lads and trying to get involved with this YouTube shite, right? Oh, just chill out. You're an old man. Go and put your slippers on, mate. Go and watch the old boss racing or something, lads. Go and don't be involved in all this internet bollocks, lad, and get yourself sucked into it, mate. You're a fucking old man, bro. Do you know what I mean? So just chill yourself out, fella, yeah? Now, none of me, you wouldn't have been mentioned, but you know what you said to the people. So that's why you got mentioned. They told me who told them. So that's why you got to mention me. But do us a favor, lad. Realize who you are, where you are, how old you are, and what your family are, bro. Because I see you do videos saying it affects your family when people are trolling you and your grandkids and your kids see you. Now to see you looking like a little dickhead, making videos about people. Get a grip of yourself, mate. Calm yourself down. Anyone else? I'm on live now, tonight again. I'll be on live at 7 o'clock. Anyone who's got an opinion on me. Anyone who wants to help ex-offenders. Any companies, charities, agencies. Get in touch. Come on the live and talk. See what we can do. Any ex-offenders. Any prisoners who are serving prisoners. Jump on me live, brothers. I'm doing this for yous, man. Um, so yeah, this is the last I'm saying on it. I have to just clear a bad negative energy. I've, I've slept bad last night just thinking about that live. I am good to the happens. I'm not, don't take anything back from here. I stand by everything I say. But yeah, if you just, how can I put it? Paul, if I was you, mate, just carry on on your live and focus on your live and don't ever make comments about me being jealous of you and wanting to start a channel off yours, bro. Don't ever, ever, ever have the cheek and the, they're big, they've got big ego and you must think you're absolutely flying. Since 3D Fight Club, yeah, you've changed and you think you're a fucking proper guy, right? Just remember, bro, you're just a normal lad from Wales, just like I'm a normal lad from Liverpool. You're not a big celebrity going on about you're gonna top the bill and you're the main guy and you fucking shut up, bro. You're all right for advertisement. You're all right for getting used for advertisement. That's about it. So I'm gonna leave it at that now, Paul. Any any comments you want to leave under people's things or anything you want to do, phone me instead. If you've got a personal issue with me or you've got you think I'm this and you think that, I'll drive on my own to meet you and sort it out with you. My platform channel and guidance is for all x so now this is going to be the last thing on paul paul knows mate he's met me in person he knows he gets so trip me and i'll drive up to him anytime he wants me um so yeah that's it not getting involved no bickering with paul he's good lads but i just think he's just yeah he's pulled the wool off me eyes um so yeah paul do what you do, mate, and listen to some of my old messages I sent you on how your channel should be going and how to, man, how to, how, how to, how to handle yourself and don't be too emotional on the things. And remember, I tell you all these things and use it, brother, because you, you, you've got you've got a good opportunity, mate. But at, at the end now, we're done. I'll never speak to you again. I think you're a prick. I like I used to like you. I used to be a friend, but I just think you're a prick. So I'm happy to leave it at that now. Don't want no back and forth videos. But if you cannot admit that you have been not being sincere behind the scenes with me, you're not a man. You know, bro, I've tried to get hold of you. You better tell people I tried to sort this in fucking private, like I've told you and I've told other people who were in the group. If they want to back me up by saying I tried to sort it in private, that's up to them. If they don't, fair enough. But everyone's quick to make an opinion on me, mate. So when I know I'm right and when other people have seen what the response has been like from him. Why don't you talk about that, but you talk about me? People, I'm off. I'll be on live at half seven. And the channel tonight, any negative comments, you get out, you're out, you're out. Simple. I want to keep this a good channel. It's going to be a good channel. It's honest. It's just, this is an honest channel. This is a truthful channel. This is where people don't tell lies. So respect everyone. I'll see you later. And Paul, stay in your own lane, bro.